Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to set units in meter and how to work in meter in AutoCAD. So, I have prepared this video on request of one of my viewers. So, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get all kinds of updates. Also, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. So here I will show you how to set unit in AutoCAD in meter. How to set unit in meter in AutoCAD. So I have already created a video how to set units and limits in AutoCAD. So shortcut key of unit command is UN. You can see here. So UN press enter. Now drawing units dialog box is open now. So first you have to give length type. Here, you have to select decimal in case of you want to work in meter. Architectural and engineering, if you select when you want to work in feet and inches. So, we, we are going to select decimal because we are going to set unit in meter. So, for meter, you have to select decimal. Architectural and engineering for feet and inches. So select decimal. Now precision value. Next you have to set the precision. So precision value I will select 0. Then units. Here units you have to select. Units means the smallest units you have to select. Means smallest units means small value. Like uh, meter, if you want to work in meter, then you have to select millimeter. If you want to work in feet, you have to select inches because, uh, see, if you want to work in meter, you have to select millimeter. That means in drawing, the one millimeter will be one meter in field. Okay. Actual one meter size you will show in drawing one millimeter okay so select the smallest unit so smallest unit is millimeter now click on ok nothing else you have to do click on ok now go to dimension style manager so d now dimensional style manager dialog box is open now here go to modify click on modify go to primary units click on primary units here you have to select the same thing like means decimal because we are going to select we are, we are going to work in meter so for meter you have to select decimal now precision value we have selected zero now click on ok nothing else now we are not go we are going to change so click on ok now we have to do set current always you have to do set current now click on close now i'll show you how to work we have done the unit setting i will show you how to work so i'll take line command specify first point here make ortho on now I will give uh, suppose 5 meter 5 press enter this is now I'll check the dimension go to align dimension so here to here this is 5 you can see now we need to change the dimension style and the arrow size and text size is too big so we need to change so go to D, D Go to dimension style manager. So D press enter. Now close this. I will show it again. D enter. Now drag to this side. Modify. Click on modify. Here uh, text. Go to text. Now text height it's 2.5. So I will change this to 1.5. Change to 
now you can see it's changed here you can see see the preview here now a frame is created here you can see a frame that means uncheck here so frame is removed now click on ok now you have to do set current every time you have to do set current and close see it's reduced text height reduced again go to dimension style manager click on modify go to symbol and arrows to change the arrow arrow size i will reduce i will uh, reduce the arrow size to one one now click on ok see set current and close you can see it's reduced suppose you want to change the arrow style that i will show first take line command now uh, this is uh, dimension 20 meter now this side 15 meter this side 20 meter and this side also 20 so i'll close this so i'll enter now this side 20 sorry this side 20 this side 15 so go to dimension style manager d enter go to modify click on modify here go to primary units see go to suppose you want to change the arrow size so architectural tick i want now i have selected the architectural tick now click on ok set current you have to do every time now close you can see it's changed the arrow style we have changed now dimension style this is the dimension style architectural tick we have selected now again go to dimension style manager so d enter modify now here go to primary units and uh, suppose you want frame or uh, frame uh, around the text so click here now you can see so click ok set current and set current you have to select then close you can see a frame is created around your text now if you want to remove that go to modify and click here and click on ok in preview also you can see it's removed close it's removed now take line command i will uh, support you go to units a precision value suppose i want 0, 0.00 means up to point how many digits you want so precision value 0, 0.00 again go to d enter modify then here also you have to select the same 0, 0.00 then click on ok set current close in this case i will draw a line a line uh, suppose 20.30 then see the dimension 20.30 it's not showing uh, i will take another line uh, this is 15 point uh, suppose um, 55 press enter 15.55 meter now here you can see it's 15.55 means up to point you can see two digit number that is the precision value but we usually keep round figure in meter so i will change this to zero click on ok now go to dimensional style manager d enter modify now here primary units make this to zero click on ok set current and close see it's also selected it's also showing round figure 
20 and 16 meter so i hope you are clear about how to set unit in meter and how to work in meter so if you find this video helpful then don't forget to like share and comment thank you for